Oh yes, the new Ford Maverick is here and I dedicate this particular episode to the practicality, the capability and technology plus trim differences for the Maverick. So this is telling us that the Kia Santa Cruz Sports Ute has got a chase down the rabbit hole this soon in the compact pickup truck segment or space with this Ford Maverick um, pickup truck which is arguably mischievously priced under twenty thousand dollars that's a price okay but obviously if you look at the truck the ford maverick it takes the standard pickup approach from heritage while the kia santa cruz sav uses the crossover approach but they are direct competitors because they are all in the compact pickup truck space right so this episode is not about the competition it is all about the new ford maverick that we just got so let's welcome it and break it down so let's go down and start with the practicality we look at capability and technology possibly the trim differences in a few areas that are relevant to be spotlighted all right so when it comes to practicality this is what we observed and yes of course if you take a good look at it it is compact because that's the space is meant to fit however when you get inside it is still roomy enough to seat five adults and five people and then also store all your stuff with pockets of useful storage um, functionalities standard front wheel drive and impressive maneuverability make getting around the city a lot more easier same as getting out of the city so that is you know on a practicality level that's what we'll leave it at but the trackers let me move on to how capable this compact new maverick truck is so let's go down it's designed to seize the day and um ford added a whole lot to offer exceptional and targeted epa which is estimated at 40 mpg for the city let me emphasize on that mpg because it is a hybrid version that comes with an estimated range of 500 miles and 40 city mpg you got 33 highway and a combined 37 um, mpg in this case right so the actual mileage will vary range calculation they say is actually based on a 13.8 um gallons of tank and that is what the actual tank size is and an epa estimated 37 combined combined epg is what we are working with so that's on the mpg let me just touch on the standard payload which is a thousand five hundred pounds and this is what it is so the maximum payload varies and is based on the accessories and vehicle configuration so it's dependent okay it is not static but that is what we are working with for now and um it, it also comes with a wheelbase that supports a 2000 pounds of towing capacity but there is an optional 4000 pounds max towing capacity okay yeah then also the 4.5 foot bed multi-position um, tailgate and available smart storage solutions to support all your big projects at the back end of the vehicle so you can have a look at a lot of smart um, functionalities especially if you are moving on to higher trims yeah so the maverick lineup offers three capable um, efficient and versatile trims that we'll touch on in the future but let me delve down into the four thousand pounds option maximum towing uh, capability and that is available on the 2.0 liter ecoboost and 4k tow package you must have that fitted on the ecoboost before you can do that four thousand um, pounds right so max towing varies also based on cargo the vehicle configuration accessories and a number of passengers seated at the time ep estimated fuel economy payload and towing are all dependent on these various attributes and since these cars will be configurable um we will have varying um capabilities but that is on 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 the capability of this truck when it comes to these specific issues 
let me brush down um, on the technology and so with a tech you get a standard each inch touch screen and Apple CarPlay Android Auto capability and interestingly you have a personal 4G light in the vehicle with Wi-Fi sport powered by Ford Pass Connect and AT&T and then you can also blast your way in the vehicle through an 8 speaker Bangen Olufsen sound system in this case so these are the things that you'd find on the Maverick which is really really important let me move on to um, you know tell the differences between the trims and like Elias stated we have three standard trims and then you get the um, the special edition trim which is you know more like limited edition so we'll begin with the Maverick XL which is the standard model and then you run through to the XLT and then the third option which is the Maverick Larat which I believe would be the top done however if you really want a special edition then you look for the maverick lariat first edition version but let me quickly run through what sets them apart and let's start with the standard model the standard model um, is equipped with 2.5 full hybrid engine a 4g light wi-fi hotspot in there eight inch touch screen you've got your ford pass connect which allows you to remote start your vehicle you've got led headlamps you've got two usb ports and android auto carplay compatibility plus when you go to the back end of the vehicle it has a flat bed capable traffic track with two 12 volt wires in bird that you can use to either plug or charge your stuff so you can hook up led lights a mini fridge or a small tv if the need be so that is what you get on the XL. Building on the XL to the XLT, this is what you add on. So when you get to the versatile XL, XLT model, you add cubby storage in bed, as well as 10 tie point spots in the, in the, in the bucket, with features like 17 inch painted aluminum wheel, which is a bit standard, right? You also get an upgraded Navy Pier and medium slate interior, a power locking tailgate and wiper activated headlamps and you can also ride in style if you are not comfortable with what you are getting on the XLT and want to move on to a much comfortable full loaded um, option so you consider the Maverick Lariat so this is what sets the Maverick Lariat apart from the others right so um, that comes with 18 inch machined aluminium wheels with painted pockets, premium green desert brown activate seats and leather wrapped seat seating steering you'll get noticed immediately that you'd ride that one out again the interior caters for your comfort with an acoustic windshield ambient lightning right and then dual zone electronic um, automatic temperature control and a 6.5 inch productivity screen you also get to have intelligent access with push to start button for seamless entry and ignition okay so that is an aspect of the lariat that makes it a little bit more different and um, checked up over the first two trims but if you really are interested in the first edition which is the maverick lariat first edition this is what sets it apart so um you've got a black roof a power moon roof distinct hood you've got lower door graphics and a gloss black mirror make you look sharper and and unique right at the base the first edition with a standard full hybrid engine glides on 18 inch black wheels but if you want to continue setting yourself apart and you opt for the ecoboost um, gasoline powered engine you can then upgrade to 17 inch aggressive all-terrain tires if you step it up to the all-wheel drive powertrain gasoline right so basically this is what the trims are and what sets them apart okay so let me quickly touch on how much it will cost you 
reservations have started and the starting model the standard model comes in at 19,995 dollars so slightly short of 20k um, um, thousand so that is where it starts off and you can rise through to the highest point which is thirty thousand dollars for the lariat first edition yeah so if you really are interested you can jump on you have 10 color palettes that you can choose from and that is great um it will be available in the fall 2021 and um you've got five selectable drive modes but let me um, put a little bit of emphasis on the power trade, both the hybrid and the EcoBoost. So the standard 2.5 full hybrid engine is paired with a continuous variable transmission for seamless shifting. That means smooth acceleration and operation out on the road with a targeted EP of 40 mpg as stated earlier, but you know with a caveat on it. Right. That is what it is with the hybrid engine. Let me jump onto the 2.0 EcoBoost engine. And in this case, you get to be able to tow 4,000 pounds with a tow trailer package and intelligent all-wheel drive, which is also available with that particular trim um, engine setup. The EcoBoost engine actually packs a punch of 250 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque. You can achieve this when you are using a premium base fuel, which is the SAE J1349 standard fuel. Right, so this is what the engine is about. I think a lot of you have seen other shots and videos detailing how useful the track bed is and how flexible the track bed is. And probably you've seen the interior design, it all looks good, but this video was basically about the practicality and this is what we have um, spotted. There are a whole lot of um, technologies that gives you the confidence to drive. And one of them is Ford's Co-Pilot 360 technology that does a lot, including auto high beam headlamps, a rear view camera, a pre-collusion assist with automatic emergency braking system, and um, you've got forward collusion warning, dynamic brake support, and a whole lot. But that's for another time. Okay, so guys, this is what it is on the Maverick for today. I believe it would inform you as to your decision making, but it is really practical looking at the space that it falls in and it's going directly after the um, Kia Santa Cruz SAV. Right, so we'll end it here. Have a good day. Enjoy yourself until we meet again, same time. Bye-bye.